<laughs> Frightened and confused, this nine-year-old refuses to leave the only home he's ever known. Make sure you use your words, your words can be powerful. More crushing than everybody will ever know. When you see a child that all he knows is the house that he was brought up in for almost nine years, being taken away. The foster dad, who we will call John, in order to protect the child's identity, and his wife had cared for the little boy since he was seven months old. But in December, the Ministry of Children and Family Development decided it was time he went back to live with his Aboriginal birth mom and biological sister, who was also raised in foster care. If you love me, you leave me where I am. I do love you. I Ultimately, the child was persuaded to go with his birth mom after he was reassured he could keep in touch with his foster parents. Weeks later, John received this alarming email, help. And when I tried to contact back, there was no answer. Um, I was um, forced at that particular time to call 911. He had, in his message, said, I'm home alone and he's underage. That should never happen. After that incident, communication was severed. The foster parents say they haven't spoken to the little boy in more than six weeks, adding that it's not right because social workers promised him two phone calls a week. In cases where foster parents don't feel like they're heard by the ministry, there is protocols that they can go through and people that they can talk to to get further information within the system. I know you've spent a long time here. It's time for you to go and live with mommy. No, no, no. You're going to be okay, son. Nobody's going to hurt you. The system failed this time, says John and his wife, who have fostered about 50 children. The majority transitioned back to their birth families. In their opinion, government policy trumped the emotional needs of a vulnerable child who just wasn't ready. <laughs> Oh, dear. Daddy loves you. Be strong. Romina Dea, Global News.